requisite attempts as the tainted lost. Um, time has come to do light path tainted Maggie. It was pretty, yeah, I feel bad about losing that uh, tainted lost run because we we were um, we had access to remote detonator, which is one of those all time classic great items. Uh, that the lost, uh, the tainted version of the lost is so well known for. Just posted the Hamilton meme. Wish me luck, egg. I w I'm wishing you luck. Good, good luck to you. I'm telling you, I, it, if, if the meme did well, it's because I came up with the idea. If it did badly. The only explanation is that you screwed something up when you created it. Because it's like, it's gold, Jerry. I better not go look at that post and see that you, you got like a freaking... Uh, like you you got an eye funny watermark or something like that on it. Or like you cropped it weird. Or like the subtitles are invisible. Like, oh my man. I will be so disappointed. Look at it on stream? No, it's, that's called brigading. It's against reticate. It's it's the number two commandment of reddit. Thou shall not brigade. The number one commandment is thou shalt not downvote posts they disagree with. Thou shalt only downvote posts that break reticate. Okay. Okay. I will blow this up. What's in your ideal trail mix? I'm gonna level with you and just tell you straight up. I don't really know what trail mix and granola are. Um, to be honest with you. You could put a can of corn in there if you wanted. Yeah, I suppose. I can't see it on new. Bro, this is how you're going to find out you've been shadow banned site-wide. This is a sad story. There's like 10 people being like, I can't see it. And you're like, it's there. I think you got shadow banned, man. You hate to see it. I'll play you zero more times. How about that? See you, see you later. Do you have any other bands that have the same vibe as the beta band? Um. Thanks for taking um, my amazing consumable. Spiritualized is a, is a band that's kind of similar to the beta band. Not dissimilar, at least. They don't have a uh, they don't have a song that slaps as much as uh, "Dry the Rain" though. Possibly the the greatest song of the 1990s. Do two more on the Eddie Room? Yeah, maybe I'll just die. That's one way to play it, I guess. It's probably not the course of action that I would take, but. I guess I could just pick it up and die. <laughs> you could also get Godhead. Yeah, it could also get like like nothing. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, this is well. We're a little. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Ed, dang dev, play the room, Ryan. If you won't play the room, Dan will have to play it again. a picture of Dan strapped to like a hospital bed. <laughs> if you won't play the Eddie room, Daniel will have to do it. <laughs> there you go. That, now that we've referenced that on stream, the, you can recoup your, your upvotes by posting that on the circle <laughs> jerk. Mega Bean. He do be farting. Wait, this is not the same run as IBS. That's good. That's good. So.
soul of Bethany. Ooh la la. <laughs> this wisp, this wisp. Unhittable. It's the wisp that they surround me. The wisp that you saw. It's the wisp that shoot the enemies. Yeah, yo, there you go. Your your wisp is on my list. If you insist on shooting my wisp, I'll shoot my wisp. If you wanna know what the wisp, only cause your wisp, your wisp, your wisp, your wisp. Anyway, sorry, I'm spiraling here. Okay, we're coming back. We're coming back. <clears throat> We're coming back. Go ahead, grab it, dude. What's your problem? I wisp my hair back and forth, dude. I watched like uh, four minutes of the movie Gemini Man, where Will Smith has to fight himself uh, on Saturday. What happened, man? It's not a good movie. I mean, I didn't watch that much of it, to be fair, but still, like, I I watched enough. It's like, you don't have to drink it to know what it smells like. That was very bad damage, but his elbow. My dad likes your very sen sensible sandwich takes. Thank you, I appreciate that. You know, just kings supporting kings. I do think Dark Bum is like an... I almost died. I do think Dark Bum is like an unbelievably strong item as Tainted Maggie. Because when I can't pick up the HP, I'm still getting HP. It's pretty sick. My mom thinks you're funny. Dude, it's like, first off, I believe you. Because, I mean, come on. But secondarily, sometimes people will be like, Oh, you know, like, my kid cousin thinks you're not funny, but my uncle thinks you're hilarious. And I'm like, dude, this I care about what your, like, 55-year-old uncle thinks way more than what your 13-year-old cousin thinks. Your 13-year-old cousin has, doesn't even know how to, like, you know, multiply two fractions together. Your uncle's got his own air conditioner repair business. Like, who do you think I would respect more if I have the option to ask for their opinion? I'm going... No, I'm not going for it. Well, let's do angel deals. Why care about what either thinks? Bro, it's just... It's... <laughs> The punchline was not meant to stand up to that kind of rigorous Deepak Chopra analysis, okay? Eckhart Tolle? I don't know any other philosophers. I'm just, I'm working, I'm trying here. Okay, alt path, alt path. My mom thinks your head is huge. Your mom's, honestly, she sounds like a craniologist. I do have, I have a head that is 0 0.5 centimeters below the um, lower bounds for diagnosing benign macroencephaly. So tell if she is a craniologist, then tell her she's really she's in the right line of work. She's got a she's got a good eye for it. It is not camera tricks. What is benign macroencephaly? Um you got a big head, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just big because it's big. It's not big because you got, you know, like spiders in there or whatever. TLDR big head. <laughs> Spider brain. Spider brain. No one to remind you you got spiders. Inside of you, they're hiding. Spider. Okay. So, yeah, but yeah. Rat, 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 rat. Rat, 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 rat. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We got golden bombs now. You just gotta find white fire. I know someone who has it. It's just. Like, he's just got a big head. Apart from that, it's pretty chill. 
I, I do that guy. Say no more, right? Like I'm, I feel you. Like I'm, like I don't have um, benign macroencephaly, but like if coach had put me in, there's a chance I could have, you know. So I, even though I don't know exactly what it's like to go through it, in many ways, I have very similar experiences to people who have gone through it. So. Don't, don't, and, okay, look, I hesitate, I was gonna tweet about it, but I knew if I tweeted about it, I was gonna get, um, mentions that were just gonna get, like, really stupid and, like, it was, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. But I'll talk about it on stream. That photo of, uh, Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, um, kneeling next to Jimmy Carter and his wife, is actually the funniest photo that's ever been taken in Earth's entire history. The photo was taken by Peter Jackson. The perspective on it is so weird. It genuinely, like, <laughs> it's... Joe Biden is kneeling down. And because of the perspective, Jimmy Carter's wife's whole body is contained within, like, two inches on his chest. It's so disquieting. Like, I get they're very, very old, and you get smaller when you age, but they don't get that much. It doesn't turn you into weird little, like, the dolls that uh, are, you get turned into an Ernest Scares Stupid, you know what I mean? It actually, it, it looks like this scene from The Simpsons where they rebuild Ned Flanders' house after the, after the hurricane blows it over. And then Ned walks down the hallway, and the hallway just gets smaller and smaller, and then he opens up a door at the end, and it's just Barney's eyeball looking at him. Like, the f Joe Biden actually looks like he's, like, 200 feet tall in the in the photo. It's, in it's incredible. It's one of the best pieces of media I've ever seen in my life. It was... I, I loved everything about it. Whatever. That's how much I respect the chariot card. Look at the size of this man, dude. Like, I, I even, I, I didn't tweet it because I was like, tweeting is not going to be worth it. Yeah, that's, he got, he gets a little bigger every time he sells out our economic interest to China or something. I was like, dude, just shut up, okay? Go buy Sharp Plug. All right, but then in, after buying Sharp Plug, you can't, uh interrupt me again but I did right click on the image copy image place it into my private discord and then um, now I don't have any bombs to get in here wow incredible instant win that means freaking nothing um, however what was I gonna say I forgot oh yeah put it in the private discord and I, I said verbatim Peter Jackson took this picture. We still got one more floor. We can still make it work. How many Keck W's did it get? Dude, honestly, nobody talks in the streamer Discord. It got zero Keck W's. I think, I don't even know if anybody replied to it. Then like 12 hours later, Rob said happy belated birthday, dude. Sinvicta and Mathis. <laughs> and everybody ices me? Excuse me? Remember that time Rob said he was too busy to poop once a week? I don't think that's what he said. I do remember, because I remember being incredulous as well. But I do, I, I do believe there was one day where on the stream, by the and the stream starts, it started at like five or six p.m. Eastern time, and he was like, "I haven't had time to eat or to poop today," and I was like, "I look, eating is one thing. You, in theory, I think you could have a day." Where you, not a day, let's say, because that's a little much, but you could have like a period of time 
where you uh, you choose not to eat because you're too busy. Like you're like, I just gotta do other stuff. Um, but there's no way you, you can choose not to poop. Like. You, for a bit, maybe. You could be like, I'm gonna delay this for like a couple hours, but... You can't really stop it. You can only delay the inevitable, you know? What if you only ingest liquids? Hold up. Let's speak on this for a minute. Are you of the opinion, or are you laboring under the idea that pee is where liquid waste uh, is processed from your body and then removed, and then poop is um, just solid waste? Like, the, you, the things you drink get peed out, and the things you eat get pooed out? Hold, no, no, hold on. Let's speak on this a little bit. This is a, this is a good, this is a teachable moment. Don't be mean. I thought that was how it works. So you thought like, you know, babies don't like poop for like the first six months of their lives. Because they're only eating, they're only drinking breast milk, right? Like they're not actually eating any food. So they pee all the time, but they never poop at all. Are you drunk, guy? <laughs> That's not how it works, man. There's a stork that comes and delivers poop to your butthole overnight. P is just excess carbon dioxide you were unable to breathe out throughout the day. It's like you don't know anything. <laughs> Excuse me? You haven't seen the movie Storks? It's really good. So I do. I feel the need to defend myself. People are like, why aren't you just mashing Q endlessly? Um, it's really awkward to do that while also locomoting with WASD. But like, I'm kind of working on it. I'm trying to figure out what, what's supposed to be done here. But the important thing is that Joe Biden photo is hilarious, man. I haven't really followed, I mean, they, at the best of times, I don't really follow uh, that much American politics. Just enough to make, like, a cheap joke at the country's expense <laughs> every couple of weeks. However, I do think it's hilarious that there's, like, this uh, new arc of, like, every piece of media that Joe Biden is in has, like, a certain weirdness to it. Like, the one where... It, it looked like the camera was like phasing through his face and then it was just like a weird angle and now the photo that looks like he's 300 feet tall, like... I'm telling you, they got Peter Jackson working as like his press secretary or something. The man, he's like bending reality around him. That's the, the other thing is like, dude, what? Like, I get that Jimmy Carter is literally like a hundred years old. Or if, if, <laughs> if not a hundred, he's, he's close. But like, somebody should give that man like some interior design. He's 96. I'm, like, again, nothing but respect for my peanut farming president, who was in office for four years, almost a decade before I was born. However, the man needs new furniture. He has bright blue carpets. What are you thinking, dude? I get it, he's like, he's old. 
but like you have blue, bright blue carpets and blue walls. <laughs> you were the president, man. Have some respect for yourself. I'm just saying, you know that's one of those bathrooms you go into and like the toilet seat has like a, a fuzzy blue cover on it. 100% chance. That dude was as old as you in the 1950s. That, that blows my mind. I, I don't know if enough time has passed that we can talk about uh, Prince Philip without chat turning him into Christopher Columbus. But that's when, when Prince Philip died, I was like, dude, that guy was as old as I was in like 1938. That's freaking cool. Not, no, not 19. I guess he was a little younger than that, but still. Like, that's crazy, dude. I didn't say under no circumstances you have to hand it to him. I was just... It's like, when you live to, like, 99 years of age, you get to have, like, some statistics like that that are just crazy. Like, yeah, you know, when I was your age, World War II hadn't even broken out yet. You'd, you'd be like, damn, great-great-grandpa, that's freaking crazy, dude. I forgot the knife piece, didn't I? Yep. Too, too much going on on this run, man. <laughs> I'm mashing Q. I'm, I'm talking about public figures. I'm yelling timber. What's going on on this run? It's, it's a weird one. I should always, re like, just remind myself, like... Sometimes items that are good are bad for me. If you just focus on, like, what's happening on the run, that's a different story. But when you're, like, just trying to get your run to a base level of competency, and then talk about literally anything but the game, you gotta, you gotta take items that reduce your cognitive load. Or alternatively, don't raise it, at least. We can still, we're, we're lucky enough, we can still do something on this run. We can still do Light Path, I think. Like Dunce Cap. You, all, I consider myself almost owned, but you have to recall that was a question mark. He would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Gotta do, oh yeah, that's true, we can still do Hush too. He accused Chestnuts of being lazy. Was the question mark for? Oh, because I said he invented the question mark. Right, right, right. Unicorn horn, thank you. Love to see it. Unicorn horn, baby. Glass cannon, love to see it. Glass cannon, baby. It's not bad. Certainly beats the pants off of a giga fart. Can of horn. There you go. Now you're talking. Can of horn, I get the picture. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can't just run into enemies. Okay, I don't know. What size air fryer should I buy? I'm not like the air fryer master. I just happen to own one and like it. It's a question that only you can answer, you know? What are you trying to make in that son of a gun? One thing I will say is that, you know, you got to consider your counter space. But uh, bigger is better as well. You know, you don't want to have to make french fries for two people in two batches. Otherwise, because then half of them are, uh, you know, lukewarm. They're the temperature of the room where it happened. So consider that. Suspiciously amazing advice for someone who's not an air fryer master. Hey, hey, hold on. You can't prove anything. You'll never take me alive, instant pots! Throws, throws smoke bomb on the ground. Vacates premises. I 
I just saw the photo. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to be weird about it. The photo is really funny, though. If so and it's not just that it's like the president. If somebody took that photo of me and like my friends or my parents or whatever, I would laugh about it for like years. I would be like, hey, do you guys want to look at that weird photo where it looks like dad's 25 feet tall and we're all like, you know, little dolls? I would bring it up constantly. There's something about like changing someone's size in a photo that just is humorous, right? Like, people were tweeting me the, the roller coaster photo, but with mouth behind us photoshopped to be, like, 12 times larger than his actual size. And I was like, this is hilarious. Or then there was the... Remember there was that uh, edit done mouth where they, like, change... Oh, yeah. Where they, like, changed the size of mouth's eyes so they were really small. This is the height of humor, man. I really don't like the one that Chib has been posting, though, where it's, like, me, but they took my facial hair and put it on the top of my head. Stonks. And then they Photoshop my eyes to be red, like the, the pain meme. Where's that photo? I don't know. You could probably just scroll back through Chibli's media tweets. Oh, wait. He's probably deleted it by now because he's a coward. Yeah, whose eyes are they? To begin with, man. Is it Michael Jordan or Brendan Fraser? I always get those two confused. Cool, yeah, just 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 kill me, I guess. I guess uh, time to die. Okay, all right. I'm, you know, I, I blame myself. I blame myself. <laughs> Externally. Internally, I blame whoever typed in all caps. Please, for the love of God, go back and get the, the sharp plug. But in uh, externally, to maintain... Decorum and deference. I blame myself. If anyone asks, I blame myself. When the camera's off, I'm going, I'm scrolling, slash user, username. Unbanned court. Unbanned court's been a little, it's been a little easy the last couple of days. I, I haven't, actually, no, that's, I banned somebody today. <laughs> I forgot about that. But... I don't think they're going to make an on-ban request. I saw that. Here's what I'm going to say. Dude, you're welcome to submit your on-ban request. However, if I deny it, you got to narfle the Garthok. So, if you're, if you're willing to stake your life on it, then maybe, just maybe, you're gonna be the one that saves me. You got a what then? You get, you must mm, narfle the Garthok. Malfoy, can you believe it, dude? Some of these people have never seen. No, 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 no. Oh, I, uh... oh no, the person banned today does have an on-ban request, and it's on the longer side. I'm not look, this is not a joke at their expense. I but I feel like I can make the joke myself. They got banned because they said, is this guy the dumbest streamer on the website or something like that? And then historically the uh replies that you get when you ban somebody for that is I just thought it would be funny. Also, English is not my first language, so I didn't realize that. Suggesting that somebody was the dumbest person on the dumbest website ever made was insulting. Or, there is the occasional double down, for sure.
We get very few free speech bans. It does happen, but not that often. <laughs> oh. You gotta respect the double down? No, not really. Like, it depends what the double down's for. There's definitely been times where, like, I banned somebody for something that was borderline. And then in their double down, like, with, with emotion not a part of it anymore, I was like, you know what? Perhaps I was a little hasty. But most of the time, the double down is like when George Washington founded this country back in 1976. Is this what he had in mind? Use the fires, dude. Use the, use the fires, dude. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. No. Hey, Tomo, by the way. 1976, just as Carter left office. You fool. <clears throat> Wait, no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I was gonna say he was the president from 76 to 80. Wait, isn't that... No, yeah, you fool! He was president 76 to 80! I have been hit and swallowed my eternal heart. 1976, though. That's, that's, the, that's the joke, man. That's the... That, that was the whole... <laughs> no. I'm not gonna become the Joker. Not yet. Not for that. Not yet, dude. Not yet. Not yet. You can't... I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. No, 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 no. <laughs> you ever think about how much of your brain is taken up by American history instead of something useful? Hey, man, that's one of the most common uh, themes of questions on Jeopardy. Is American history questions. So it's possible it'll make me more money than Canadian history ever could. If only I could remember that... Duckworth is not Eminem's first name, it's actually uh, Kendrick Lamar's first name. Drunk High? For a dollar, name an inebriation. Who is the third Canadian Prime Minister? Bro, I got no idea. Third American president? That's easy, dude. They carved his face into a mountain. Third Canadian prime minister? I don't know. It's probably named like... Bill Manitoba. Let me in. Yeah, his name was Gord? Who would be on Canadian Mount Rushmore? I mean, if it's if it's a good banter, by the way, good. I appreciate it. If it was um, prime ministers, yeah, John Mayonnaise would definitely be up there. Tim Horton. It's hard to talk about the best Canadian prime ministers without without mentioning old Timmy H. <laughs> Just heard a someone screaming. So if you'll give me a moment, I'm just gonna go check on the. The situation out here, uh, right outside of my office. Everything's okay. It was the baby, but it wasn't a scream. It was just like a... Ah. You know how it goes. Donkey, 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 donk. And we never saw him again. So they're not noise canceling. Oh, frick! You got me. You got me. After all that time, it was all, it was a bait. 
It was a simple ruse. Hold on. Dude, I like completely lost where we were on this run. I don't think I... Have I made it like past the mom fight on a single run today? It's because my brain is like, oh, it's playing Returnal right now. That's the problem. <laughs> Can you explain what the Canadian Senate does? Um, here's, here's my understanding of, like, the Canadian government, all right? Like, when you, uh, pass a bill, it has to make it through Parliament, which is, like, you know, the actual elected officials. Um, and then it passes to the Senate, which is, like, appointed officials. So every Prime Minister, you know, gets to appoint people to the Senate, who are people who actually have no, um responsibility to the electorate for some reason uh, but get the power to veto laws and and bills that have been passed in the assembly uh, and then after that it passes to the governor general who is like the queen's representative in Canada which is also wild now mind you I don't think there's ever been a situation where the queen was like, nah, dude. But still, it is a little weird. Twenty-two cents, baby. Little ghost in there, huh? Oh, never mind. I thought I had Guppy's eye for some reason. Yeah, I thought it was kind of like a mutually assured destruction thing. Um, where, like, if the we, we agree to keep, like, the queen on our money and have, like, her picture in hockey rinks and stuff like that. Um, and in exchange, she never meddles in Canadian politics. If she does, we go, guess what? You're out. Something like that. It's on, yeah. Careful, it's on site. You tr you trying to mess with our oversight? It's on site. Hold on, I have a, a very itchy inner ear. It's on site, your majesty. I'm gonna drop two of these over here. I'm gonna get magic mush real quick. And then I'm gonna go scratch it. Oh, baby. This is where you need a golf pencil. At least you don't have the Union Jack on your flag. Uh, that's true. We kind of do in British Columbia. BC flag is, uh, is busy. I like it, but it's busy. Legitimately, though, Canadian provinces have some of the best flags. New Brunswick's got, like, a cool boat. A Yukon, I think, is just, like, it's a bear or something like that. Nunavut is an Anukshuk. Yeah, like, they, it's a pretty... We got a sick... What are, what's the study of flags called? It's a vexillologist paradise up here, man. Yes. Okay, now we can get some momentum here. We can get some momentum. I'm, I'm learning how to game again. Canadian flag tier list. Could be good. Could be good. Could be good. We got a lion or something on ours? What's Ontario? Someone was saying Ontario sucks. Ontario needs a rebrand, man. First off, it should split into about 17 different provinces. I haven't really thought about how the demarcations would be done, but just do it. Don't We, we don't worry about specifics here, just the high-minded ideas. I leave the nitty-gritty to everybody else. Manitoba has a bison on ours. That's pretty sick. Flags with animals, like, full stop, tend to be better than flags that don't have animals. It's simply science. 
Maybe left by intemperance, but I'm not sweating it. What's the Saskatchewan flag? Is that the one that is it the license plate that has the canola on it? I'm not joking. <laughs> this is not a mouth reference. I'm not joking. Canola is a very important part of their economy. It's got some kind of flower on it. That's canola, dude. That's a canola flower. Hero's medallion. Plus, actually, plus one damage is pretty good. Prince Edward Island's flag has a lion on it. I'm telling you, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't appreciate until I saw all the American flags how good the Canadian provincial flags are. I'm not just like a, you know, a patriot for Canada to be specific. I, like I've said it before, Canadian anthem, eh? Take it or leave it. The flags, though, provincially, oh baby, they got it going on. See ya. It's wheat. Come on, bro. I think I would recognize wheat if I saw it. <laughs> Mouth, is that wheat? Dude, I think we got good flags up here. I all the same way. I think you should change uh, <laughs> the names of the holidays every hundred years. I think you should change your flag every hundred years, or at least like open it up to debate. You know. Yesterday, Chib called the Canadian flag the weed flag. Congratulations, Chibli. You you earn um, the prize for being the 100 billionth person in Earth's history to make that joke. Your prize is... You're fired. What do you think of the US Anthem? I'm not, like... I don't think it's the best Anthem ever made, but I do think it gets the people going more than O Canada does, for sure. That's a good item. Azazel's stump. Unleash your inner demon. Are you telling me to become the Joker? <laughs> ah, sorry. Americans always say the same thing about the American Anthem, so I think maybe it's a grass is greener thing. I don't know, man. Like, O Canada is just like... If, if O Canada was on an album, it would not be a single. And it wouldn't be track one, and it wouldn't be the closer. That, it would be like track six, and you'd be like, oh, come on, skip it, man. You get what you give is like two songs away. I'm not on autopilot mode. I'm just... It looks... You, you gotta play bad as this character to be good, because you, you get strong when you walk into enemies, okay? Just give me a, give me a minute here. Give me a freaking minute. Shouldn't have... Shouldn't have risked it, man. Shouldn't have risked it. Russia's anthem, insanely good. Unbelievably strong anthem. No question about it. Every time I'm watching the Olympics, I'm like, man, I sure hope the Olympic athletes from Russia win. Now that I think about it, the joke doesn't make any sense, because don't they just play the Olympic theme song? No? I think they did, though. Like, at the Winter Olympics in 2018, I thought they played, like, there's, like, an Olympic song they played, because Russia technically wasn't allowed to compete. Winky face. Panama's album could be Panama by Van Halen. That would be pretty sweet, dude. Like, and you know what? If Panama doesn't want it, we'll take it. It could be, you know... Don't you know she's coming home with me? Do you believe it? Do down, 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 down. But 
do 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 Canada. <laughs> Dude, that would be sick. Canada. Uh, 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 uh. Baby, baby's not happy. Baby's not happy. What do you think of that dog that Chip is always posting on Twitter? Dude, I don't know what is up with that guy. I Here's what I think happened. I think Chib, like his whole identity was wrapped up in being the only person in our group of friends who had viral tweets. And then my Thanos tweet came and just like freaking glassed over all the viral tweets that he's ever done in his life. And he's having a crisis right now, and he's like, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do about it. And I feel bad because, like, I think if he didn't isolate himself from me, I could tell him maybe like some tips and tricks to go viral because I've been there myself, honestly. Um, but instead, I don't know. He's just posting that that weird dog over and over. And playing Club Penguin. How's Baby Carrot Tweet doing? Banned? You're banned? Get banned? Do Canadian provinces have songs like American states do? Well, you mean like Meet Virginia by Train? Wait, you guys have a song? <laughs> Ooh. That means my man. Mm, I'll be going this way if you don't mind. Beautiful play. Hey, you talking about like the stars at night are big and bright da, 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 deep in the heart of Texas. Uh, excuse me, Massachusetts obviously has a song. It's Shipping Up to Boston by the Dropkick Murphys. Song that speaks to the spirit of living in Massachusetts. Banger. Spotted. Tell me from you're from Massachusetts without telling me you're from Massachusetts. Bro, we're gonna freaking die here. Give me some red hearts, please. Red Hearts, Ooh, uh, the Moon, and and or Antarctica, um, the Hanged Man, the Hermit. How about that? More Boston slander. <laughs> Look, I don't. <laughs> yes and no. I've said my piece on on Boston before. Dunk, 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 dunk. I think I think you know how I feel about the the Sunshine State of Massachusetts. California does have a lot of songs. One of them is by the Mamas and the Papas, and 499 of them are by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Let me in. <laughs> Please don't talk smack about my state. Hey, what are you going to do about it? Uh, be rude to me when I'm trying to be a patron of your business? <laughs> Too late, buddy. Nope. On such a winner's day. So true. I'm going to die and then become the... I'm Okay, now I'm on autopilot. You got me? Now I'm on autopilot. Canada has a sick coat of arms as well. We got sick coats in general, man. You ever see Canada Goose? Very popular. What, what are you? Is it the D1? Come on, man. Come on, dude. Are you... Are you freaking me? Is Canada's money just joke money? 
You don't even want to. I'm gonna remember this, America. Um, I'm a Zazel. <laughs> Uh, when our dollar uh, passes your dollar, because your Federal Reserve won't raise uh, interest rates as a result of the domino effect that it'll have on the entire economy, and the Canadian dollar approaches parity or even passes it, um, I'll remember that, okay? I'll remember that. Sulfuric Acid. Why is he turning into his Azel? Well, I can't turn into the Joker, so... Yeah, I do get paid in US dollars, but it's not like I have too much control over it to begin with. Dear dear Justin, I'm, I tried to write you, but you still ain't calling. I got some ideas for the economic policy you might be interested in. Wait, how did you get this number? How much is a Twitch sub in CAD? Bro, it's like $8. Yeah, that's the other thing is like, I don't really care about the strength of the Canadian dollar in general. Cause they only, and I mean, like I'm not, look, it's, it rolls downhill, right? It's worse in other parts of the world for sure. But when the Canadian dollar is bad, it takes companies like two months to adjust prices upwards forever. Then when the Canadian dollar recovers, they never come back. They're like, ooh, ooh, we're, we're really feeling the pinch right now. The Canadian dollar, a cup of coffee is now a hundred bucks. Then the Canadian dollar gets 30% stronger. And we're like, what about that, you know, the old cup price for the cup of coffee? And they're like, oh, you thought. <laughs> um, okay. Just hold on a moment, please. Still moving, still moving. We're trying to go insanely fast here because I don't want to uh, make my wife super late for the start of her own stream. We'll just take some glitter bombs, get the heck out of here. Oh, she's not streaming today. That's right. I'm still going to go fast, though. Because I don't want to make myself late for the end of my stream. <laughs> and this run kind of sucks, but that's okay. No, actually, this run's not so bad. But is it that the run's not bad, or is it that Tainted Maggie is just good? No, I, like, I, no, I don't hate chat. Come on. I, oh, thank you to the crows from Dark Souls for the... Uh, the five gifted subscriptions, thank you. I honestly, here's what I'll say about today's stream, okay? Mario Party, a lot of fun. Repentance, always a great time. Returnal, glad I played it. Returnal existed. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not, come on, hey, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. Thank you for the statistics. It seems good, but I definitely, I don't know. And I mean, like, this is the thing, right? Because it just, it opens you up to like, oh, you didn't give it a chance. Oh, I have to read for three seconds. Like, oh, my, my brain's so atrophied after 10 years of live streaming. I can't, uh, you know, understand this. But like, it's just, uh... The hunch that I had when I watched it, I think, bared out for me when I was playing it. Where I was just kind of like, it's mechanically extremely uh, dense, and uh, I don't know, it, it, it didn't really grab me that much. I gotta watch, I gotta watch Dan's uh, video. He's, he's releasing a video on whether or not Returnal's worth $70 US. I, uh, despite having played it myself, I think I gotta, I gotta see what he has to say. I just, I, I honestly, I think, I, you know, to thine own self be true, as Banquo said in The Taming of the Shrew. Um, yes, there's a comment engineered to anger. Uh, light side, baby, light side. Boss rush, baby? No, light side, baby. 
Um, I just... <laughs> I guess I have destroyed you with sulfuric acid tears. I apologize. Um, I don't... Uh, I, I still have just never had, like, a 3D roguelite grab me in this same... Like, it's so hard for me. That was my problem with Returnal. I think I finally puzzled it out before I became the Joker right there. Um, I've, and, it, again, admittedly, it was very early in the game. But I don't know. I just felt like there were so many mechanics being introduced that I never got into the flow state, right? It might have changed, you know, after I actually learned the basic mechanics, but... We played it for like two hours, and I, I never really was like, I'm playing right now. I was kind of like... I don't know, I was just waiting for it to... I was just waiting for it to be given to me. Why is everyone saying question mark light side? Look at the freaking post-it note, dude! Yeah, I'm good. We need to get the light side done! Oh, wait, this isn't the light side. This is the alt path. Son of a! Don't look at the post-it note! Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Where are we? We're going out of the... Wait, no, this is actually fine. We haven't done alt path either. Boy, I sure hope you're embarrassed by that blunder. <laughs> yeah, the corpse is fine if we live. And that... Because we've got, um... Godhead, I mean, we go home. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We got a better chance. Okay, hold on. You, you puzzled it out there. There you go. Anyway, I mean, honestly, it, I don't know. Maybe it, it just seemed like mechanically kind of too dense for me to ever feel like I was enjoying myself. And instead, I was just like, oh, don't forget about all the chromium crystals that are on the ground. Oh, but when you were focused on all the chromium crystals, dude, you met, you lift, uh, you left a bunch of bromide behind. You, you have bromide, your whole integrity is going to decay, but don't worry about it. You can just put a parasite, you know, up your bunghole later, and the parasite will have a 75% chance to, uh, like add sulfide to the bromide and then you can in you're like oh but watch out but then the sulfide is it's got malignant sulfide chains i'm not saying it's a bad game it's just uh maybe a bad fit or maybe we'll play it on friday i don't know i'm not gonna play it tomorrow we get we got co-op repentance and chess Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, that's my my controversial but 100% not satirical take on games. Is um, none of them should ever have a tutorial, or the first person to buy the game should get a tutorial, and then everybody else should just have to learn off of somebody who's already played it. Like, like, community oral transmission or something like that. That's a fair take. It's absolutely not, but I do appreciate you saying that. Thank you. <laughs> like, I was playing, um... MLB The Show last night. All I wanted to do was play uh, the Battle Royale mode. I go to the main menu, there's no Battle Royale mode. And then I remember to myself, okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure the Battle Royale mode is tied to something called Diamond Dynasty. So I opened up Diamond Dynasty. All I wanted to do was play with like one game of the Battle Royale. I go to bed at 10.30. It was like 9.50 when I started this. I was like, welcome to Diamond Dynasty. Here's the tutorial if you're interested. And I was like, B button. And then it was like, if you leave the tutorial, you will be unable to play Diamond Dynasty. And I was like, all right, fine. I guess I'll do the tutorial. And it was like, hey, play an entire game to learn about how to like get the stubs required to open packs. And I was like, oh my God, dude, freaking. Okay, finally. So then I like played it out. And then it was like, change your reliever on the uh on the mound in order or like in your bullpen in order to and then you can only pitch for four innings and then you're like i'm like i just want to play the battle royale and then like i drafted my team I, I got to play one three inning game where i lost 10 to 1 and then i was like i'm gonna go to bed and i'm gonna become the joker yeah 
and that's that's what I did. But I've I've resisted the clarion call of the Joker. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm drowsy. Can't can a drowsy, and I'll be all right. Here at MLB The Show, we live in a society. Okay, oh, hey, hey, don't, don't, no, 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 don't hurt me. What is love, baby, don't hurt me no more. I thought she ripped the skin off my face? I didn't see the first message. Kate, are you okay? <laughs> I only saw the message that said I thought she ripped the skin off my face. I want to take his face off. There was no context. thought I was bleeding. I will be dead on this run in like less than four minutes. And I will come bandage your face. And if I have to arrest our baby in order to get justice for my wife, I will. It's gotta be, I made a vow. When we got married, I made a vow. Do you promise to have and to hold? For richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live, I do. Hypothetically, if your baby assaulted your spouse, would you send them to federal prison? Um, this wasn't in the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> Answer the question, Shinji. <laughs> Get in the Eddie room, Ryan. Or Daniel will have to do it for you. Okay, I'm drowsy on this boss. Do be mighty good. No question there. It be schmacking. Dude, I can't buy any more pirates booty. It's so expensive. I think it's the only thing in the world that's actually cheaper at Whole Foods than it is at other grocery stores. Whole Foods here still has two for five bucks going on. Other grocery stores is $5.49 a bag. It's cheap at Costco. Good to know. Good to know. It's a pretty huge bag. The bags are not that big, man. They're not single serving. But they're they're not particularly huge. Especially because like by weight, like pirate's booty weighs next to nothing. Which is part of the reason I enjoy it. It's so light and airy. I'm such a big fan of his music and his records. You know my belt? I got a leather studded belt. It's from Angels and Archways. Oh, no, no, no. What if you just died right now? Back on top. <laughs> Ooh, bit spicy. Oh, I don't like this eye. This icon here. Ooh, mom's kiss. That's not what it looked like in the Steam icon. But we've done it.